In the event that you put Betelgeuse where the sun is, it would stretch out to the orbit of Jupiter, colossal, entirely unsound, and destined to detonate. Betelgeuse is one of the greatest bursts of radio energy in the whole universe, producing more energy than a billion suns. Known as a red supergiant star, if you placed it where the sun is, it would extend to the orbit of Jupiter immense, completely unstable, and headed for a catastrophic explosion. When we consider stars, we often imagine small, shiny points of light in the evening sky, which is how we perceive them from Earth. However, stars are far more complex than we can easily observe. One of the most fascinating stars, Betelgeuse, is far larger than our Sun. For many years, this star has intrigued researchers, and recently, it has become even more concerning. Join us in exploring the exciting developments about Betelgeuse and its impending annihilation, as revealed by the James Webb Space Telescope. We'll examine the potential impact this will have on our universe and our lives here on Earth. As explained by physicist Michio Kaku, Betelgeuse is a vast wonder, a massive star that has captured the imagination of cosmologists for a long time. A Greek astronomer named Antonius was the first to observe it. Betelgeuse is so enormous that it can be seen from Earth, particularly during winter. If you're into astronomy, you've likely seen or heard about this star. It's the bright, rosy orange star marking the upper left shoulder of the Orion constellation. This star is ancient and one of the brightest stars in the night sky. However, its brilliance isn't constant. It fluctuates. This change is one of its most exceptional characteristics, but it isn't the only interesting aspect of Betelgeuse. Let's take a look at some of Betelgeuse's key properties. Most of the stars we see in the evening sky are far away from Earth. The closest star to Earth is 4.2 light years away. To help understand light years, imagine traveling at the speed of light for one year. Light travels at 186,000 miles per second, so in one year, it covers billions of miles. Therefore, when we say a star is 4.2 light years away, we mean it is billions of miles from Earth. Some stars, however, are much farther away, and Betelgeuse is one of them. Located about 600 light years away from Earth, it would take 600 years to reach it at the speed of light. Since we can't travel that fast, we must rely on other means to study the star. Despite being so far away, Betelgeuse shines brilliantly in the sky thanks to its immense size and luminosity. Betelgeuse is around 500 times bigger than our Sun, with a radius approximately 1,000 times that of the Sun. It appears as a disk in space when observed through modern telescopes, unlike other stars that look like small points of light. This appearance is due to the reactions at the outer layers of its atmosphere. As for its mass, Betelgeuse weighs between 12 to 19 times the mass of the Sun. A solar mass is the standard unit of mass used by astronomers and is equivalent to 2 times 10 to the power of 30 kilograms. Scientists haven't been able to pinpoint Betelgeuse's exact mass, as there are no planets orbiting around it to compare its gravitational effects. Nevertheless, Betelgeuse is several times more massive than our Sun. The brightness of Betelgeuse fluctuates, with its magnitude varying from plus 0 to plus 1.6. For comparison, a magnitude zero star is about 2.5 times more brilliant than a magnitude one star. At its peak brightness, Betelgeuse is up to 1,000 times more luminous than our Sun. This variability is due to the star's pulsations, periodic expansions and contractions of its outer layers. When Betelgeuse expands, it becomes brighter, and when it contracts, it dims. These pulsations can last anywhere from 10 to 100 days or even longer. Another unique property of Betelgeuse is its surface, which is covered in dark magnetic spots. These spots have much stronger magnetic fields than the surrounding areas, and they hinder the flow of hot gases to the star's outer surface, cooling those regions. Though Betelgeuse is much larger and brighter than our sun, it is cooler because of these spots, which are much larger and more numerous than those on the sun. Betelgeuse's magnetic field is several times stronger than that of the sun, which causes the gases on the star's surface to appear in loops or arcs when viewed through a telescope. The star has a surface temperature of around 3,500 Kelvin, which contributes to its relatively low energy output and faint red color. Although Betelgeuse is currently a red star, it wasn't always this color. About 10 million years ago, it was yellowish, much like our sun. 
Over time, its color changed to orange, red, and approximately one million years ago, it began transforming into the red supergiant we see today. This aging process has led scientists to believe that Betelgeuse is nearing the end of its life cycle. Betelgeuse emits several times more energy than our sun, and had it been closer to Earth, it could have rivaled the sun in terms of its influence. Betelgeuse is so bright, despite being 600 light years away, that it can still be seen with the naked eye. If it were placed in the sun's position, it would displace the Earth and the four other planets near it because of its immense size. Even if it were the same size as the sun, it would still emit much more radiation. Known as a red supergiant, Betelgeuse is a massive star in the constellation Orion, located roughly 600 light years from Earth. Its massive size is one of its most striking features, making it many times larger than the sun. If placed at the center of our solar system, it would easily encompass the orbit of Jupiter. Despite its enormous size, Betelgeuse is not the largest star, as its mass is between 12 and 19 times that of the Sun. However, it remains a significant celestial body. The brilliance of Betelgeuse fluctuates dramatically over time, ranging from magnitude 0 to plus 1.6. At its brightest, Betelgeuse can be 1,000 times more luminous than our Sun. This variability is due to its pulsations, internal processes that cause the star to expand and contract. When Betelgeuse expands, it brightens. When it contracts, it dims. These fluctuations can last from days to months, giving Betelgeuse a dynamic, ever-changing appearance in the night sky. Betelgeuse's surface temperature is relatively low for such a massive star, measuring around 3,500 Kelvin. This low temperature contributes to its faint red color and is typical of stars nearing the end of their life cycles. Betelgeuse is in the late stages of stellar evolution. Having exhausted the hydrogen in its core, it has begun fusing heavier elements. This process causes the star to expand outward. Betelgeuse's atmosphere is rich with complex phenomena, including dark magnetic spots on its surface. These spots create regions where the magnetic field is much stronger than the surrounding areas, hindering the convection of heat and leading to cooler spots on the surface. Despite these cooler regions, Betelgeuse remains a massive, energetic star, but it is eventually fated to die in a spectacular supernova. Betelgeuse's fate is sealed. When it runs out of fuel, it will undergo a process of fusion that turns helium and carbon into heavier elements. This will cause the star to expand even further, possibly making it one of the largest stars in the night sky before it ends in a supernova. A violent explosion marking the death of a massive star. The energy released in this explosion will outshine entire galaxies for a brief period, emitting an amount of energy equivalent to what the star would have emitted over billions of years. The core of Betelgeuse will collapse under its own gravity, triggering the supernova, and the outer layers will be expelled, creating a nebula that may give birth to new stars. Depending on its mass, the remaining core may become a neutron star or collapse into a black hole. This event will significantly impact the surrounding region of space, especially in terms of distributing heavier elements that are essential for the formation of planets and life. Although Betelgeuse's supernova is inevitable, it is a rare and fascinating event that offers valuable insights into stellar evolution and the ultimate fate of massive stars. Because Betelgeuse is located 600 light years away, its supernova would be visible from Earth, even in broad daylight. While this is not expected to occur immediately, the star's fluctuating brightness, especially the dramatic dimming observed between 2019 and 2021, adds to the intrigue. Scientists speculate about its behavior and ultimate fate. By studying Betelgeuse and other massive stars, astronomers continue to refine models of how stars evolve die, and contribute to the formation of galaxies and planetary systems. Although Betelgeuse's supernova will mark the end of a long and storied history, its legacy will live on in the cosmic dust and the new stars it will help create. Betelgeuse has captured the attention of the scientific community in recent years, especially due to its proximity and size. It has become even more intriguing because of its unpredictable behavior with the renowned physicist Michio Kaku weighing in on the latest developments. Kaku explains that while Betelgeuse is nearing the end of its life and its eventual explosion in a supernova is certain, its exact timing remains uncertain. However, 
The stars dimming in 2019 and 2020 led many scientists to speculate that the supernova might be imminent. Kaku suggests that the dimming likely resulted from a cloud of gas or dust temporarily obscuring its light, not a sign that the star was about to explode. Though the supernova is not imminent, the study of Betelgeuse provides valuable insights into the life cycle of dying stars and the creation of elements essential for life. Kaku also notes that while Betelgeuse's supernova will be visible from Earth, it poses no danger to us. The explosion will release a burst of radiation, but by the time it reaches Earth, it will be so diffused that it will not harm life on our planet. For astronomers, this is a rare opportunity to study a supernova in real time, which could offer crucial information about stellar life cycles. The supernova will be an event of cosmic significance, helping to create new building blocks for the universe. The eventual supernova of Betelgeuse will not only provide a glimpse into the past, but could also offer clues about the future of our own Sunday. Although our sun is much smaller than Betelgeuse, it will eventually evolve into a red giant in about 5 billion years, expanding to engulf the inner planets, including Earth. Though the sun won't go supernova, its final stages will share similarities with Betelgeuse's death. By studying Betelgeuse's impending explosion, astronomers can better understand what will happen when our sun reaches the end of its life. While the exact timing of Betelgeuse's supernova remains uncertain, Kaku believes we will likely witness this remarkable event within our lifetimes. The scientific community is already preparing to monitor the star closely in the coming years, using advanced telescopes and other technologies to gather data. This event will help astronomers learn more about supernovae and unlock secrets about the creation of the universe. As Betelgeuse continues to shine in the night sky, we are reminded of the transient nature of stars and the beauty of the cosmos. When it explodes, it will serve as a spectacular reminder of the dynamic, ever-changing universe in which we live. Betelgeuse's impending demise as a supernova is a topic of great excitement and speculation for astronomers and astrophysicists. Though its explosion won't happen in the immediate future, the star has become an extraordinary case study for understanding the final stages of a massive star's life cycle. This star, which has undergone significant changes in its brightness, color and behavior serves as a natural laboratory for investigating phenomena such as stellar pulsations, magnetic fields, and the mechanics of supernovae. One of the most intriguing aspects of Betelgeuse's evolution is its complex magnetic field. The star's magnetic properties are much stronger than those of the sun, and this plays a significant role in shaping the star's outer layers. These magnetic fields not only affect the star's visible appearance, creating the dark spots on its surface, but they also impact its atmospheric dynamics. The magnetic activity can cause the star's outer layers to move in different ways, further contributing to its pulsating behavior. This interaction between magnetic fields and convection currents within the star's interior likely drives the rapid and unpredictable changes in its brightness, contributing to the variability that astronomers have observed over the years. The role of pulsations in Betelgeuse's life is also a key area of research. The expansion and contraction of its outer layers are believed to be driven by the thermodynamic processes occurring in its core as it exhausts its hydrogen and begins fusing heavier elements. These pulsations are not uniform but happen on irregular timescales, which makes predicting the star's exact behavior difficult. As Betelgeuse continues to burn through its fuel at an accelerated rate, these pulsations could become even more pronounced, giving astronomers more opportunities to study stellar dynamics. The periods of dimming and brightening, like those observed between 2019 and 2021, add an element of mystery to the star's behavior and offer clues about the inner workings of stars at the cusp of death. Though Betelgeuse is already in the late stages of stellar evolution, it's important to note that its life cycle has been far more rapid than that of our sun. While our sun will gradually transition into a red giant and spend billions of years in that phase, Betelgeuse has already exhausted much of its hydrogen fuel and is now moving through its final stages at a much faster pace. The rapid consumption of fuel is typical of more massive stars. The result is a much shorter lifespan, with Betelgeuse having already lived only a fraction of the time compared to the sun. This brief, energetic life has led to the formation of heavy elements in Betelgeuse's core, elements that will be released into space when the star explodes in a supernova. The explosion itself will be one of the most energetic events in the universe, 
releasing an incredible amount of light and radiation. The energy produced by the supernova will be enough to briefly outshine an entire galaxy. Such explosions are responsible for creating many of the heavy elements found in the universe, such as gold, platinum, and uranium. These elements are ejected into space and eventually form new stars, planets, and possibly even life. Thus, Betelgeuse's death will not just mark the end of this particular star, but also contribute to the ongoing process of cosmic recycling that creates the building blocks of future generations of stars and planets. In addition to their role in the creation of new elements, supernovae like Betelgeuse's can have profound effects on their surroundings. The shock waves produced by such an explosion can trigger the formation of new stars by compressing nearby gas clouds. As the gas is compressed, it heats up and begins to condense, eventually leading to the birth of new stars. Thus, even in death, Betelgeuse will continue to play a role in the life cycle of the universe, contributing to the next wave of star formation. For astronomers, the impending death of Betelgeuse offers a unique opportunity to study a dying star in real time. By closely monitoring the star's behavior in the coming years, scientists can gain valuable insights into the physics of supernovae and the processes that govern stellar evolution. The data collected from this event will improve our understanding of the cosmic phenomena that shape the universe, as well as the life cycle of stars that vary greatly in size and behavior. Despite its distance of 600 light years, Betelgeuse will leave a lasting impact on our understanding of the universe's most explosive events.